John, this is your first interview since uh, since joining the club. Uh, how have you found the first few weeks here? Excellent. Really, really enjoyed it from a personal perspective. Um, in terms of how the team have done, I think they've been very receptive to what we are trying to tell them. And um, by and large, it's been a, a real positive three weeks. We, 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 haven't, uh, we haven't played for, for a week now. How, how have we used that time to prepare for Bournemouth tomorrow night? Um well, obviously, the, they've, they've had a heavy schedule since I've been here. And, um, you know, they've had a couple of days off rest after the Northwood game, which uh, we obviously uh, put on quite a strong team. And uh, there's a few aches and pains amongst the team. But as I say, it's been a heavy load and uh, they've had a bit of time off. So we've uh, been back on the training pitch again today, uh, ahead of the, the game tomorrow against Borenwood. We saw that Sam King came in and put the lads through the paces with, with a series of high, intense, uh, high intensity boxing drills. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard, I know that. And, uh, you know, there was, the gloves were on and so I just kept out of the way, to be quite honest. So uh, I think the lads enjoy it. Sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's always um, beneficial to try different uh, training techniques. And, uh, and, and that was tough, I'll tell you, that was tough. So it was... Uh, it was a good um, session before they had their their uh, their, their, their break uh, over the weekend. We've scored eight and conceded none in our last uh, two games. How do we keep that form going? Um, being good in both boxes, in a nutshell. I think uh, what we've done, we've defended for our lives at times. We've got blocks in, headers in, tackles in, uh, interceptions, you know. And at the other end, obviously, we've been clinical. Um, so, the, the, you know, it's, it, it's pleasing and um, more of the same, I'd, I'd like to think. How impressed have you been by the, the defensive work of, of uh, some of the players lately? Um, it's been great, yeah. I think, um, you know, I know the club had went through a little bit of a tricky time before I came in and, and you know, there was a number of reasons behind that and obviously conceding nine goals in two home games wasn't ideal. So we needed to sort of like... Um, stem that that tide really and uh, you know we did that obviously with the first game at um, Torquay albeit we conceded two goals but we came back showed fantastic character and then we've got you know I think what three out of four games we've, we've had the clean sheets and um, you know albeit they weren't against your Boreham Woods uh, who are going to give us uh, a, lot, a lot of other different kind of like problems and uh, but um you know, we're just tr we're, we're we're taking it game by game, day by day. You know, session by session, and it's always going to be a work in progress. And let's not forget, I think my first game um, against Torquay. So I came in on the Thursday. We had a back four, and none of that back four played in their respective positions going into Torquay. So we completely changed the back four, and I think that's uh, crucial that you've got a settled uh, back four or certainly a, a defensive unit. Um, game by game because you, you know you, you're working with different groups each time so that that proves to be very difficult but uh, I've got to say I think the lads have been absolutely terrific the ones that have come in and some have gone out and obviously got the, the likes of um, uh, Turles that have come back uh, from injury so it's just getting a settled group and working with that settled group. But Boreham would have shown their quality throughout the season, especially in, the, in their FA Cup run. Uh, what sort of challenges do you think, do you think they, uh, they might provide tomorrow night? Uh, lots of different challenges. Obviously, they're a very, very well-drilled team. I think um, you know they've represented, as you said, the, the, the National League uh, fantastically well in the FA Cup and really proud of their achievements getting into the last 16. And, um, you know, so Luke's done a fantastic job at, uh, in that respect. But they've always been there or thereabouts the last like, few seasons. And they've just made little tweaks here and there. And the one thing, they play with um, a real spirit. And you can see that the players are buying into what the, the manager's trying to achieve there. So, challenges. I mean, listen, they're, they're, they're at the top end of the table for a reason. You know, they've got a terrific front line. Bowden and Marsh, uh, I believe Marsh scored uh, a hat-trick down here in the, in the FA Trophy game. Bowden, proven goal scorer. Uh, and they have good good uh, qualities on their defence, um, pardon me, set plays, attacking set plays. And um, they have a certain way of playing. And listen, you've got to deal with that, you know, whether you like it or not. You've got to go and deal with it and uh, be physical and stand up to the challenge. I know you might not have worked with them uh, a, a lot since coming in, but Efron Mason Clark's been called up to the England C team. How, how much uh, praise does he deserve for that call up? Um, 
well, he deserves a lot of praise. I mean, it's a proud moment, you know, representing England at any, any level. So he, you know, uh, all power to him. I think he's, been, I think he's been brilliant since. Um, it was a player that I'd heard about and had didn't know a lot about, um, and now working with him at close quarters, his quality is amazing. You know, he's a, he's a real he's a real star in the making, and he wants to learn. He wants to get on, and um, so congratulations to him. It's a it's a fine achievement. And and just finally, it's, it's a game under the lights here at the High of London in, in quite a local derby. How, how much are you looking forward to, to that side of uh, oh, I things? Love a, I love a Tuesday night game. I'm really looking forward to it. I think um, from you know a, a, a coaching perspective, I, I want to see how far we've come because we're playing against one of the top teams in the league. So it's going to be a gauge of you know how far we've come and and you know if we're up to the challenge. Listen, we want to be in swapping places with the likes of Bournemouth. And, uh, you know, so, so here's a, a, a good marker, if you like, moving forward. And it gives us an opportunity to, to make a real statement. 